the startup procedure for this vehicle is essentially the same as any other vehicle. Turn the key, the only difference here is you have to wait for the indicator to go from startup to run. At worst case, it takes 30 seconds, best case 10 to 15 seconds. It uses the high voltage battery to actually start up the system and then once the fuel cell is ready, then it goes to the run mode. In that case, it took five to 10 seconds. When the vehicle is cold, it can take longer to get the gases up to pressure and humidity and temperature. It basically looks the same as any other vehicle. It, it's an automatic direct drive transmission. Very smooth operation because uh, there actually are no gears per se. It is a direct drive motor, so essentially the faster you go, the higher the motor turns. The maximum speed of these vehicles is limited to 85 miles per hour. They could go faster if we wanted them to. Auto manufacturers feel that the technology will be ready for the mass market by 2015, thereabouts. Eventually, one day, we will run out of fossil fuels. We are essentially completely dependent on them for transportation. Right now, we still have the ability to use things like natural gas, coal, oil, to make fuels for the transportation industry. Eventually, one day, we will not have those feedstocks. So hydrogen really is the ultimate goal. Ideally, you make hydrogen from sources like solar power, wind power, that sort of thing. So you think it will eventually become affordable to, to buy a hydrogen car? That, that is the goal. Um, it just might cost more than it does today to operate things such as personal vehicles. There is talk that one day, because of the, the shortage of things like fossil fuel, um, the average consumer will not be able to fly again in the future just because of the amount of fuel that, that airplanes take and the limited resources we have on this earth. That isn't an opinion shared by everybody, but there are still a lot of unknowns, so the future will, will tell.